absolutely cannot believe it, but the Oakland Athletics have won a series against the rival Houston Astros, the Astros' first series loss this month. I can't believe it. I mean, I don't remember the last time we won a series against the Astros, and, um, you know, this was a great game for the Oakland A's. Um, they were down 3-0 in this game, and then they, you know, in the 6th through 8th inning, score four runs to take the win and eventually and it was a great game for the A's a great game from Chad Pinder three hits for the guy uh, only one RBI off those three hits but still and Steven Vogt had a good game as well a couple of different A's shining in this one the A's okay they had Adam Aller on the mound and I you know thought putting Adam Aller on the mound is a death sentence because he's pretty terrible he had a nine ERA coming into this a very poor stat line but I think Mark Kotze was smart. He only went 4.1 innings. He did allow three runs, but the A's bullpen was strong. Mole, Acevedo, Puck, Jackson, and Trevino all were good. And, um, you know, in just one inning, Trevino struck out two. In just one inning, Zach Jackson struck out two. Puck had a strikeout. And so the A's bullpen, you know, pitched most of this game and had some good, you know, moments. So, yeah, both teams had eight hits, and uh, the A's prevailed. So yeah, uh, Kyle Tucker got a solo homer off Adam Aller in the bottom of the first inning. So they got off to a good start. Uh, and that was on, a, you know, with two outs and whatnot. So that got Houston on the board. And it was a pretty good homer. Then Jeremy Pena got a two-run homer also off Adam Aller in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that was where, you know, Mark Kotze decided to pull him. It was a good decision. It was the right time to do it. Um, and that made it 3 nothing Houston Astros. But that's all they would have on offense. Ramon Laureano, solo homer in the uh, top of the sixth inning. And that got the A's on the board. He absolutely crushed that one to left field, and that made it 3-1. Hit it right uh, near the Crawford boxes. And uh, yeah, it was a really good homer, uh, his ninth of the year. Chad Pinder got an RBI double to make it a whole new ball game. Um, it was sort of a botched play out there in center. Uh, center fielder kind of slipped, and that brought in Sean Murphy to score, making it 3-2 Astros. Steven Vogt got a sack fly in this game. And that in the top of the sixth, and he hit it to left, runner on third and second, and that made it a 3-3 tie. And then Steven Vogt, I mean, this guy is, you know, the oldest guy on the team, and he is single-handedly winning us this game. He got a go-ahead single down the right field line, making it 4-3. I mean, it's just a miracle in my eyes that Steven Vogt is still hitting this good off of major league pitching at his age and health. Uh, so that was 4-3, and the A's went on to win. Um, you know, the, both teams had pretty good pitching late. Presley had a pretty good uh, showing for the Astros, but Lou Trevino got the save, and uh, I'm glad he didn't choke it. I mean, it was a close game, so I thought he might, but yeah, good one for the A's. Eight hits total, and the middle of the order did really good. Loriano, Murphy, Seth Brown, Pinder all had hits, um, some of the, which had multiple hits, and uh, yeah, it was a really good one for the A's. I, they needed this, um, and you know, the series win is the thing that really, you know, blows my mind over the Houston Astros, right? I mean, you know, you, you can't say that any better. Uh, for the Astros, Jeremy Pena, probably their best hitter of the day. He had two RBIs on two hits, of course, with that homer. Kyle Tucker had two hits as well. So did Yuli Gurriel. Uh, their pitching, not super good. Jake Odorizzi was on the mound starting. He's been struggling lately, and he had three earned runs on five hits, five strikeouts, pitched an inning more than Adam Aller did. So similar approach from both Dusty Baker and Kotze. Uh, for them as well, Rafael Montero allowed a run. So you know, the Astros bullpen was okay, but it wasn't great. So the A's head into the All-Star break with a series win. Um, we'll have the All-Star break on Tuesday. Paul Blackburn will represent us. So this is the last A's recap until uh, Thursday, really. And uh, we, it will be a good one against the Tigers, uh, two-game series. And um, hopefully we can get the win there. But anyways, that's going to do it. The A's win 4-3, to three, move to 32-61, and 61, and uh, get the series win. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I'll see you guys later. And yeah, go A's.